Honey, I shrunk the kids. The M2 Evo sitting next to the M1 Evo. Check out the size difference there. In this review, we're going to be talking about the M1, the brand new M1 Evo from OMP Hobby. And we're going to put this on the bench. We're going to look at it a little bit closer up. I'm going to tell you kind of the differences between the M1 and the M2. If you're somebody that's just getting into RC heli flying, I would honestly recommend this as maybe your second heli after you fly something like one of the Blade beginner helis start out there um, your progression will be much better and you'll enjoy the aesthetics of this one a little bit better after you fly something um, just a little easier to fly these are quite fast and you have stabilization on here you have a built-in flight controller with auto leveling which is really nice so you kind of have a bail switch so to speak on the, M the t6 transmitter here you can get this bind and fly and you can bind it up with a variety of transmitters like the m2 it will bind up with the futaba spectrum and it also has a built-in s bus port on here for um, three different pins that you can plug in for s bus like radio master remotes so either way you go uh, with just about any transmitter out there they you can now fly any transmitter with these two helis so that's super cool uh, open tx also has a brand new update inside their transmitters for the newest firmware that will allow you to bind it up to an already set up model for the m2 actually um, and the M2 setup should translate over to the M1, um, but I'll have to confirm that in the comments down below. So if you like helis, stick around because we're going to go outside right now. We're going to fly the M1 Evo here uh, with the provided 2S battery, and we're going to see how it flies in the stabilized mode. And I might even try a little bit of manual flying uh, for what we call 3D mode, which I mean, I have no business doing, uh, but we'll see how it goes today. So sit back and relax, enjoy the flight test. After that, we'll come back and check out the M1 Evo on the bench. Let's do some flying with this bad boy. Here we go. All right, guys, here we are at the field and I already have it paired up with the T6. So it's pretty easy to bind. You just plug in the battery, press the bind button on the flight controller. It's the farthest one closest to the main blades. Once you do that, it'll start flashing blue. You then turn on the transmitter holding both of these switches here and keep holding it. You'll see a blue flashing light. And when that blue flashing light goes to solid blue, you're all ready to go. So at this point, I checked all of my orientations and everything on the swash plate. It looks like we're good. So we have some throttle here. And uh, over on this side, you have throttle hold. So that's super important to switch that switch up. That way, if you hit the throttle on accident, it doesn't take off on you. So once you hit this, you're good to go ahead and start to spool up and we can go ahead and take off and it, it the, my first impression is that it is crazy quiet right now i'm about 50 percent throttle right here that's kind of a hands-off hover and i have to say it's uh it is super 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 stable and again if you're in stability mode guys like you can literally let go of the sticks like this and the heli will re-center itself and stay in a stable hover that's super cool that is really cool. So if you're brand new, you can get into it by practicing sort of a left hover like this, a right hover, tail toward you hover in one spot. And then eventually you can turn it all the way around into a nose in hover like this. And when you're in stability mode, it's a lot easier. So once you switch out of that into full 3D mode, you can practice that to become a better pilot. But um, I, have to, I, I have to say, I, I, I can't believe how quiet this thing is actually. Um, and I'm just going to fly it out in the field now, like just, you guys just kick back and relax and enjoy watching this little guy fly around the field. I mean, you can see it really good with that yellow canopy and you know what? This is much quieter and easier to fly than the M2. I feel like the M2 Evo is just a bigger, scarier handful for beginners, but this is this is amazing this is really cool and really quiet and i'm over here in my my own neighborhood here and i don't want to disturb anybody you definitely couldn't hear this like just a couple yards away if you were flying this in your yard you had a little bit of room with some grass like this this would be really a lot of fun and look at that let's just come in a little closer to the camera so you can see it in a hover close up Look at that. Isn't that a pretty heli? That is a pretty heli. I mean, I, I, I love seeing new drones and stuff, but seeing a heli 
just it's something different for me and it's familiar too because man i had a huge obsession with helis if you've ever owned one you probably have the same unless you know of course you got frustrated trying to fix them because fixing them can be worse than multi-rotors the great thing about multi-rotors they have no servos most of them they have no need for servos so it's just motors and a frame escs flight controller and that's it that's what's so great about fpv and coming from helis to fpv it was super simple so you also have stage one and stage two idle up which will put this heli into 100 percent head speed uh, around 80 percent for the first idle up let's just listen to that let's do some kind of pitch bumps as we call them up down up down i don't hear a lot of bog out in the motor that's good that's the thing where it gets to the stress level of the motor where it's kind of reached its max let's go ahead and go up into 100 percent and let's get it a little closer so you can hear it in 100 percent idle the thing is humming Man, that's a pretty heli. See if I can hold it absolutely still. And it really wants to fly fast in this mode. And I, and I would say it has a pretty, a pretty uh, well-tuned pitch authority on it. I think the pitch up and down is pretty fast. It's pretty aggressive. Um, for a beginner, you know, a lot of times you guys are a little bit heavy on the sticks and when you're heavy on the stick with a heli, that can get you in big trouble. Uh, so I'm gonna go back into regular head speed now and I'm gonna try to switch our switch over into uh, full 3D manual mode. So now I'm into full 3D manual mode and that switch is on the left-hand side right here. Throttle hold is here. And whenever you do that, try to keep the tail in. If you're brand new, just keep the tail at you and before you do any flips and rolls make sure that you're in idle one or idle two so idle switch is over here on the left and never take your eyes off of a heli uh, like i'm doing here in this review so she seems to be doing pretty good i want to try my first flip i'm going to go tail down tail down and back over all right cool that actually wasn't bad it was kind of a big loop so i, I think the rates are not bad, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a higher rate. That rates are over on the light, right hand side over here on this side. So that should give me a tighter flip. It's a little more, a uh, little faster turn, there we go. Up and around. A little tighter turn that time, a little tighter flip. Uh, we can do aileron flips as well from side to side. And don't forget to press down when you go inverted. Super important. But I'm liking, I'm like, I'm really liking this as far as like just doing some mild sport flying. And when you're just doing flips and rolls and things like that, maybe TikToks, that's what they call like sport flying. But God, that's a pretty heli. That is a pretty heli. And again, it, it, even if a dog is barking to your right or left, like just try not ever take your, your eyes off the heli. I had my worst crashes getting distracted and i crashed a t-rex 600 that was all custom modified it had all the bling on there i mean even look to look down at your transmitter can momentarily distract you and crash a heli so now i'm going to go back into the uh, regular flight mode and now i won't do flips and rolls but i love the way this heli looks in the air and, and i think you guys could get eight minutes out of this heli and by all means, please do practice your simulator because learn all this in the, the simulator first, do your crashes there, and then come out and fly it in real life. This is about as cool as RC gets right here. Pure RC, you can practice your figure eights. I feel like the transmitter's starting to beep at me. I think the battery's about to die. But I just don't want to stop flying this little heli. I have two more batteries, so I'm going to stick around the field. I'm going to fly my other batteries that I have, and then uh, we'll take you guys back to the bench. And there we go. There's the end of our battery. Made it safely back to the landing pad. Now let's make it in one piece back to the bench. Let's talk about the M1 Evo. All right, my friends, welcome back from the flight test. Now we have the M2 sitting there and the M1 Evo, both the Evo series. Let's talk about the M1. 
The M1 comes in on Buddy RC's website around $249. It looks like we can get four different canopy colors, white, orange, sort of a, a, a kind of a red and a yellow. The M1 Evo comes with this nice durable case and the Hetley fits snugly inside and I can get up to about six batteries inside this case. It does not come with a battery charger, however. You will have to use the supplied battery lead that comes along with it and this has an XT60 on this end, balance plug here for your charger and then you plug in the battery's lead here. There's no actual connector on here like I would like to see like a little maybe a, uh, an XT30 on this battery. Um, I suppose you could probably solder one up but uh, that wouldn't be worth your time. I would just run these how they are uh, because these batteries are pretty cheap and they They've lasted pretty long for me so far. I also have to note that my blade um, battery for my 150 also fits in there. And this one is a 320 milliamp battery versus the 350 milliamp battery that OMP Hobby gives you. Guys, also in the box, you get an OMP Hobby M1 driver, and this is a pretty small little tiny element for adjusting the tail length. You can move the tail in and out on this heli and change that length. That's kind of nice. And last but not least, the tail blade holder. I, I mentioned before on the previous M1 that I really wish the little M1 had uh, a blade, tail blade holder, and now they do include that on the M1 Evo. I think that's super nice. I wanted to give you guys a bird's eye view of the flight controller of the M1 Evo here and the M2 and hopefully this pretty video kind of shows you the differences between the two. Uh, if you were to buy one or the other, this one's kind of just a, a, a cased version of this smaller decased version for the M1 Evo. Uh, this will offer more protection in a really hardcore crash, which you're going to need on the much larger one. These don't take as much uh, hits as the larger ones do because they're lighter and a lot of times it's kind of bounce in the grass and you kind of get away with a lot with the smaller ones so it's always good to start out with something small and move up uh, larger they are the bigger the damage so um, and, and even fires with some of the large ones but this is a cased version it still has all the same rx hookups here it has a bind and a set button on this one as well for setting up the flight controller which i think it's going to be a lot easier for the beginners we have our power source up front which is essentially uh, instead of an xt30 like you have on the larger one you have a balance port here we have pretty much the same setup for the antenna and I think you get about probably about 300 meters out of the range but honestly you really can't see these guys uh, once you're about 100 yards away um, seriously uh, we also have a difference with the head setup let me show you how that looks now at first glance they do seem to be pretty similar from top to bottom it looks like a shrunk down version of the m2 evo but if you notice look at the servos on the m1 here the servos are the traditional setup with them facing outwards like this from the body they're extended on one side and the other and on the m2 evo we have streamlined servos that go in line with the body if you look at it from the very top it's less parts and pieces that stick out during a crash. And I love this about the M2 Evo, whereas this one has a traditional setup. So this servo here sticks out the most on this side. They're kind of offset a little bit. And it looks like this one might take a harder hit than something that is completely in line with the body. I, I love the way this is set up. And I hope in, in the next version of this, maybe the V2 Evo, they will kind of make those in line with the body, making everything a little more streamlined and a little safer for crashes. Now, if you are a beginner flyer and RC heli pilot, you're going to love this. This would have really helped me out getting started back when I used to fly the T-Rex 150. It has an all one side plate. All one piece side plate is huge here. So eight bolts release the side plate. Back in the olden days, guys, when you were trying to repair a frame on a heli, if you broke one part of the frame, a lot of times you had to pull everything off a frame and replace the entire frame. So this makes your life a lot easier. If you break the landing gear, four bolts, you take those off, put new landing gear on. If you break the, the frame itself, pull eight bolts off, bam, and you put a new frame on there. So um, I, I think that's super easy to work on for the beginners. And I feel like OMP is making it pretty easy for you guys that are brand new to get into flying an RC heli. If you haven't done it before, if you're one of my FPV guys on the channel or you're a drone guy, the first time you fly an RC heli, it's going to kind of change your idea of uh, flying in general. Uh, being inside the goggles and flying something line of sight, it's just two different feelings. And this is a, a, a 
a great feeling to be able to see something in front of you and uh, hear this baby spool up and come off the ground. It's such a good feeling. Uh, if you are interested to get one of these with the T6, I would recommend this because it's the easiest way to get started. You don't have to set up the switches. They're already set up on here for you. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack in the very back of this transmitter right here for RC simulator support. So if you want to fly a PPM simulator, you can do that. That's that's really good for uh, learning how to fly your heli. I, I flew the simulator for about a month before I actually touched a real physical RC heli. So uh, it made me a, a much better pilot in the long run. and. On the second day at the field, I was doing flips and rolls. Uh, one of the original heli guys that was at our field, he looked at me and goes, that's it. I'm leaving. Uh, these new guys are killing me. They're, they're doing flips and rolls in, in, in two days. It took them uh, years to be able to do a flip and a roll. So uh, I believe in simulators and I, I, you should fly a simulator too, um, especially if you're, you're a beginner heli pilot. It would just make you so much better of a pilot. But uh, however you want to fly this one, fly it s smooth and slow. Uh, hover, learn how to hover, do all your orientations and learn your sticks, and then move on to flying in manual mode um, and, and learn flips and rolls. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you don't have to be a total 3D maniac, but uh, for those of you that have that type of brain, uh, I applaud you uh, because it is something very special to see someone fly these 3D. Um, I don't know how you guys see it, but I, I, I just enjoy getting it off the ground and getting it back to the ground in one piece. Um, the greatest thing about RC helis, but I love it. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this review. This one was a ton of fun for me and uh, OMP hobby. It's, it's quality stuff guys. And you see it in person, you'll know it, um, especially when you fly it. So you can check out the link down below. I'm not an affiliate. This is not a sponsored review or anything like that. I'm completely on my own making these reviews. So I appreciate your subscription on the channel and, uh, your comments. So if you like this one, please do comment, like, and share. And most importantly, guys, subscribe. Mr. Camps, I'll see you on the next one.